would be really fun since we are ending 2016 and 2017 has started. Cannot believe this year is already finished and we're starting over with a new one. Who's excited for another year? Let's just, let's just go ahead and be honest. Me. I'm excited. So I thought it would be really cool if we just went back over and just think about all the things that 2016 has taught us, what we learned from this year, um, things that we know not to bring with us into the new year, things we need to leave behind. So I thought it would be nice to reminisce and thought it would be great to share it with y'all. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So I think one thing that I learned this past year would be to be better prepared for anything. Um, if you have watched, if you've been watching, um, if you're new, hello, subscribe. <laughs> um, but if you're, if you've been watching, then you know that we were hit by the hurricane. We were not prepared because we really didn't think that it would ever be like it was we've never seen a hurricane like that um and I'm, I'm only 25 but my parents and even you know elders in the community they said they've never seen anything like this before so um we weren't prepared our area that we were in we were not prepared for that so i think that this past year has definitely taught us to be more prepared for anything because anything can happen at this point so just to be better prepared has been a super huge life lesson from this past year. Something else that I learned from this past year is to be um, better organized. I think that I can get a lot more done when I'm <laughs> when I'm better organized. I did get a planner this this and well 2016. I got my very first like big girl planner, and I think that did help a lot. It helped a lot with my channel, my YouTube channel, and um, I don't use it as much as I need to, which is one of my New Year's resolutions is to use my planner more often to get more organized. I think we should. I think we can all um, attest to being a little bit more a little better organized is going to help our lives out a whole lot so um i learned that being better organized is definitely a must something else i learned this past year is that people change things change um priorities change and that's okay i think that um what a lot of people aren't used to is change and i think it scares them i'll admit i've been scared of change in the past and um when it comes to like relationships and people, I think that some of us aren't prepared for that change. Like I think we want to hold on to it and keep it forever. But what we don't realize is that in order to become a better person or to, I guess, um, to thrive and be better, we have to change and things around us have to change. And I know it's hard for us to realize that and grasp that concept, but we have to change and things around us are going to change. So um, I, I struggle with that a little bit because I've been in this new place. If you don't know, we do live a little over an hour away from our hometown and all of our family and friends. And that's been like a huge change in my life because I've always been around like a certain group of people and I've always done things with them. I was never one to go out and do things on my own and ever since I've been here and I've been here for um for two years. Um this coming up June will be three years. But um that was a super huge change and obviously it took me a little while to get used to the change. I'm still getting used to it now so it's not something that happens overnight. So if you're a person that's struggling with change like that um, know that you are not alone and there are people out there that are struggling with it too. Um, I have to go places on my own now. I have to, I have to just get used to it. And, um, so that's been a huge change for me, but change is okay. It's good. It's a good thing. So, um, that's definitely something I learned from this past year. Go after what you desire. Like, don't just sit on it. If you, if there's something out there that you would like to achieve or something that you would like to do with your life or just anything in general, something that you want, go after it. Don't just sit around and wait for it to come to you. Um, cause most times you have to put work in behind that want. Where's my phone? work in behind that want if you expect to achieve it and that's and i'm just going to pretty much go on with my my youtube channel that's got a lot to do with what i'm saying there um it was something that i was a little afraid to get started 
it was something that um, you know I would watch people all the time on their YouTube channels and I'm just like I can do this man I can just I can do that I know there's a lot of you that probably sit back and like I could really do this and you really can don't be afraid to get started don't be afraid of what other people might think of you sitting in your house or wherever talking to a camera right by yourself it's not weird Trust me, it's not. I mean, it might feel a little weird, but I I love it. And I made that commitment and that jump start to get it started. And I'm so glad that I did. I've made a lot of changes in my life. Um, if most of you don't know, I am pursuing a complete YouTube career because the thing about me is I am... I have a short attention span. <laughs> Let's just say it like that. I have a short attention span. And... I'm going to toot my own horn. I am good at a lot of things. I'm not going to say I'm great. I'm good at a lot of things. I'm a jack. I'm a Jill of all trades. You know that saying, jack of all trades. Um, I can do a lot of things, and I love doing a lot of different things. So it's hard for me to just necessarily stick to one career or one thing that I'm interested in because I'm interested in so many things, and I, I'm not necessarily sick of this thing. I just gain interest in something else and then there's something else so I don't get sick of one thing I just jump to something else because I'm so interested in that that I'm so interested in that and that kind of hurt um you know like my careers careers I say plural because I mean as soon as and I've always had jobs so it's not like I was I was just not working for the sake of not working but I have always had a job and it was always something different. It was never the same. Um, so I was always interested in something else. Something else got caught my attention. And I wanted to see how that would work out for me. And I was in school. I am a licensed cosmetologist. Um, that's something that always is forever changing. And I'm always interested in it. So that will be something that I always have right there with me. And I'm really good at hair. So... That's just something that I'll always do. But there were so many other things that I was interested in. I was going to go to school to be a teacher. Um, I was going to get my business degree at one point. I was going to school for um, mass communications with broadcasting and radio. Like that was, I've had so many different things going on. And I couldn't completely, I guess, commit to it. Because as soon as I would even think about it, something else would pop up. And YouTube has been the only thing where I have been able to harness all of that love for multiple things into one area that's the beauty of youtube i don't have to just come on here and just do strictly just one thing dollar tree dollar tree dollar tree because i'm not always shopping at dollar tree sometimes i'm interested in this sometimes i want to do a makeup tutorial sometimes i want to clean up sometimes i want to make something um sometimes i want to decorate and i want to show you what i've done in our house so youtube has been like the best thing ever that i have stumbled upon in my life and i'm so thankful that i'm able to do this and get it out there and i'm and i'm really thankful that i have met people in this process and have made just remarkable relationships with people that i would have never found elsewhere so i'm super excited about that but yeah i'm very thankful that 2016 has taught me if you want something go after it and if you're doing something that has absolutely no connection to what you want to do at the end of the day then don't continue to do that i mean it just doesn't make any sense that's like i was in school like i said before and it made absolutely no sense for me to go to school to get an associate's degree in it was just general education to supposedly transfer to get my education degree to teach kids and that's not really what I wanted to do and I was doing it to please everybody else but not myself and I had to do like a really good self-examination and like Paige you don't even really want to do that at the end of the day so why are you wasting time and money on that when you could be twisting all that energy around and putting it into something that you actually want to do so if that's you if you're a person out there that's doing something that has no connection to what you want to do in life then stop and go figure out what you need to do to line up everything that you need to get to that destination that you want and i think last thing that i want to touch on is going to be that you are not going to be everybody's cup of tea <laughs> That's, that's another thing that 2016, and I mean, I will have, not necessarily 2016, but all of my life has taught me. Um, I have always struggled with this. I guess I've always strived for people to like me. Um, 
I think it's just natural in everybody. You want people to genuinely like you as a person. You don't want people to just, just not like you for no reason. So, but um, I think 2016 has, has finally taught me or I guess finally has got me to the point to where I no longer care. <laughs> um, I don't care if I'm not your cup of tea. If you don't like me, if you don't respect the fact that I keep it 100 all the time, I am sometimes blunt, sometimes... My husband will say that I'm a little too I'm a little too blunt certain times and but that's just that's just me and I'm not going not everybody's going to like me not everybody's going to understand me not everybody's going to want to be my friend not everybody's going to want to subscribe to my channel not everybody is going to want to like me on Instagram or follow me on Snapchat and you're not going to like everything that I say you're not going to like everything that I that I do, that I wear, that I do with my hair, that I don't do with my hair. The fact that my teeth aren't straight. Some people are not going to like that. And I mean, if you don't like that that much, then let's just start a GoFundMe account and get paid some braces if you don't like it that much. But <laughs> seriously, go somebody start that. Too. <laughs> but really, not everybody is, you're not, everybody's not going to like you. And that's perfectly fine because there are people that are going to love you. And that is even better. I would much rather have five people that love me than a thousand people that like me love is a lot stronger than like and at the end of the day those that love you will stay there that truly love you they will stand behind you they will support you they will subscribe to you <laughs> i mean they would just love you in all aspects of you and those are the people that you want around you you don't want those people that are wishy-washy and that might like you today and might not like you tomorrow i don't want those people if you're that person go away i don't like you <laughs> but I think that's that's been a big lesson for me because I used to struggle with that and I wanted I wanted people to just genuinely like me because I didn't understand why they didn't just like me because I think I'm pretty awesome sometimes I know I can be a lot a whole lot to deal with but for the most part I think I'm pretty awesome so that would hurt my feelings but I'm sick of the hurt feelings I'm done with it no more on to the next 2017 will be a year full of opportunities and success i am just i'm gonna just go ahead and say that success is 2017 that is it 2017 and change i think a lot of good change is going to be happening in 2017 i also think that a lot of love and whether that be i've already seen so many babies or people being pregnant or engagements i think 2017 is going to be a year of love so i just wish each and every one of you a very happy new year i hope that 2016 was a learned lesson for you if it was not a good year for you then take those lessons and apply them to this upcoming year and make it a better year do not be waiting around at this time next year and be like lord i ain't learned a thing i ain't got a thing out of this year make it a year that you can get something from so i just want to wish like i said each and every one of you a very happy 2017 if you haven't already definitely subscribe hit the red button below you want to be part of this family i have a lot of stuff coming up a lot of cleaning videos a lot of organizing some essential oil videos i have a lot of stuff planned and i'm very excited that i'm able to share it with you so i hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and thanks for watching